Alright, welcome back to the Golden Gift Qualifier number one. The first Better Place tournament for 2023 Age of Mythology. And we've got Count Von Count spawning the top side here as Isis. The Red Trunks victorious in his first game of their best of three against Badoan. Playing as the Blue Trunks Zeus. We'll have to see what tricks he's got up his sleeve. Try and take this one into game number three. We're here today on Anatolia. It's going to be an interesting match. Egyptian player in particular will be really set to get a lot of water, propel his eco forward, but Badehan going to be doing the same as Count over on the other side of the map. Looking to grab some fish, get some fishing boats out. Really start that, yeah, parallel economic unit training before having to worry about getting a second town center. Because that's ultimately what makes a good macro build good, is the ability to actually get you further along in terms of your actual income rate and your actual, you know, economic unit number early on, so... On water maps, you're nearly always best off actually going for the dock as early as you can rather than going for the second town center because it's just inherently cheaper. You can only gather food obviously from the uh, water, but you know, it sort of takes pressure off having to gather food on the land, get on the trees instead. So, count. Taking advantage of the fact that it doesn't cost him anything for the granary, while because Badoan doesn't want to commit on the, the land food eco too long, it's probably not worth investing in a granary to go on the berries. Now, if you're playing Norse, it's sort of in the middle. You can go for the ox cart, go on the berries, and obviously re-rally the ox cart onto the gold later on anyway. So, but, you know, Greeks in particular, in particular, probably are going to want to gather uh, the herdables if they are going for a dock first because that way you can actually go for it as early as possible rather than having to go, you know, granary storehouse then just wait and gather a fuckload of wood. You know, and by the time you've actually got a dock, your opponent's already got four Empty. fishing boats. So, but I'm sort of forced into having to gather the herdables in order to go for the instant dock for the reasons I mentioned. It's pretty funny, he's also... Let's put this wood just into a storehouse over here, but I suppose this means he can also... Leave this villager here to go for a second dock, or to put a tower up next to it, should he need to. So a pair of docks over here, Badoan. For I mean for Count, sorry, well Badoan probably yeah, is going to go for another dock, maybe down here over up on the other side here, cut down all this drop-off time, start parallel fishing ship production. The count only producing one at the moment because he's obviously looking to age up. And on, we'll be looking to do the same. So our players do have a fairly awkward third town centre spot here. Forward town centre spot I should say. So it means it might be a good idea to try and steal it from your opponent if you can, because it would also block off your side of the water in this case for both of our players. So Count actually going to grab water on the other side as well. But now I'm going to add a dock. Oh, a second dock over here. He's already got a first. Only on the one dock on this side. So Count's invested a little bit more in docks here, I think. He's gone up to three on this top side and one on the two on the lower side. Whereas it's one on the lower side and two on the top side. So in both cases, Count's making a bigger dock investment. Bearing in mind, they are cheaper. Green docks costing 100 wood for the 50 gold. 
of the Egyptian dock. That gold gathering is being Green empowered as well. So there is slightly boosted uh, drop off for our Egyptian player. Count adding another dock. Doesn't even finish this one, just adds another one up here as well. So he's invested in seven docks basically. He hasn't finished this, but he spent the resources till he cancels it, he's not getting them back. So it's a pretty big investment on the water, but better on. Now getting a second dock over here. Not added a third on this top side. In both cases he'll be down a dock relative to his Egyptian opponent. But those docks are twice as expensive for him, so we go for a military academy as well. Minotaur heading across. So we're probably going to just try and attack the dock. So count, aging up to fast. I think ice is so. Oops. access some wood gathering improvement which would be really nice on this uh, form of the game but then also later on transitioning to farms is also going to be cheaper access to the sphinx and to the eclipse Bloody hard. castle age just kicked in castle age sorry classical age just kicked in he's on zeus today so Going for Athena. Three of lights, a Minotaur. Houses now, and that dock that never got quite finished off. But is that the dock here? Will be able to help ward off these uh, triremes while his own cannabis count starts to creep up. Looks like the lower side counts slightly faster than the uh, warship you. production, but the trireme is In out now. Much. Into you. In which so kind of going down there, and now I'm using restoration to keep his triremes up through all this. With the lower side, into you. Fairly much for muchness here. But there is, I think, a fishing ship garrison there, so the dock In also which. providing a bit of fire. Can a bit for uh, Trireme there. Count. Getting an armory now, so he'll be looking to go towards a uh, heroic cage and get his town centers behind this. Gonna be able to get that dock. Into you. Well, sort of falling for the bait to try and attack the ships because they could always just come back and then focus down the military while they're right on the shore. Count using his uh, prosperity, so be able to gather quite a lot through this and through the next stage. This economy having heroic and a town, another town center. So it looks like. Oh yeah, I'm is pushing count back on the water on both sides. Ooh, maybe not on the slower side anymore, but on the top side he definitely is making ways here. The lower side, I think count's stabilized here. He's got multiple cannabis. He's got the three docks to his opponents too. They aren't with those gas and Boats there just in case. Probably could actually sneak them back out again and re garrison them later, but. 
Yeah, he's just trying to push over on this top side because he's been making a lot of headroom here. If you can push, count off at least one of the waters here and then stay on the other half of the other water. It doesn't really matter so much to the Egyptian player as being able to go to a uncontested heroic and second town center on the land. And your own water eco will really help, you know, put you up. A bit unfortunate there, Baduan, the villager falling to the wolf. Well, now he's got these fishing boats back out, but probably needs to gather the, uh, garrison these guys, so it's a really quick garrison there. Very timely. Another dock. Being taken out now. Heroic Cage. Finishing up for count and battle arms. A little way away. So Nephthys. Here for our Isis player. Access to Ancestors, Scorpion Men. I think the upgrade's probably not going to be that useful, but... Leviathan, potentially? Because, I mean, getting that guy... Well, it spawned on this lower side, so... He's going to be able to eat through the ships pretty quick, but I think Baduhan's already a little way away ahead on that lower side. He probably would have ideally liked to have him spawn up here to help with this cluster of triremes here. It's not Leviathan at the moment. It's not really been of any great value to uh, count. Bearing in mind Count's going to be able to get some more of those uh, war barges over this side and these guys actually do counter the arrow ships one to one. Oh, and this is nice. The uh, Scorpion Man come in for a bit of a scout and raid and count double god powers. Using Eclipse and Ancestors here. Pushing up with everything at the moment. But I'm having to sort of re -galley all his, uh, re rally all of his. Uh, Triremes together over here. Trying to defend back at home as best he can. Garrison a lot of villages. Gonna lose one of these wood gatherers now. Another wood gatherer being picked off. But now I'm now going to push in account who's only on the one town center at the moment. Hasn't really had the opportunity to start adding anything to the land just yet. Anyway. The war barges really putting in work though, they can take out docks from afar, they counter the arrow ships as well. Again, that Leviathan's still not really being used at all by count. Again, I think he probably would have liked to have it spawn on the top side to help out against that army of triremes there. But I'm going to try and take the second town centre, but there's already a couple of chariots here from Count, so he's well aware of what his opponent's trying to do here. It's forcing Badaan to come back, and bearing in mind, Badaan's really only got his, uh, Hercul his Odysseus and his Toxodes that can try and really take down these chariots with any great effect, because the Hoplites, in theory, you should just be able to keep kiting them with the chariots that are designed to counter the infantry. <laughs> but it's a big hoplite ball here for Baduhan. Though, and although he is down on overall population, I think he's ultimately got a little bit less Population tied up on the water here because that's a lot left there for count. So, Hoplites with top support should be able to take out a couple of more of these chariots and count having to back up to 
the safety of the MIG. As soon as he stays out of melee range of the chariots, he's alright, but once those ops are on the chariots with the support of the tox, it just is a bit much. The chariots are not a cheap unit to reproduce. So, another dock being taken out here by Badohan. Doesn't look like Count's going to add me warships to take him out. trying to prevent this Greek death ball from just marching wherever it pleases. Chariots having a retreat. Oh, the villager getting picked off there. Want some more potentially going to fall here. One's really low. The problem is fighting in this choke, it's difficult for the Egyptian player because he needs to try and get the cavalry on top of the tox without the hoplites touching them. Fighting on, gonna go for a second town centre count. Has managed to go for one in the meantime because he's just been actually playing Egyptian off the front foot here rare but it happens. And again, chariots have a retreat. He doesn't want to those hoplites surround him there. Another MIG here for Count. Is he actually, what's he got, going to build it? Are these gold gatherers meant to build it first? Or has he got someone coming to build it? It's weird that he's got a place but he's not actually finishing it at all. Or I suppose it's more of like an oh shit one. Like if Badehan ever actually pushed, he'd put all his villages on it, but now he's just making sure he's got the gold to have it out, I guess. I don't know. Seemed odd. Here we go, he's got them all building it now. Looks like each player control of one water. Oh. Counts. Girlfriend wants to try and take out the hero here if he can. Into you. Oh, but this camry taken out, I think. Count didn't really Into want him anymore. Might have accidentally produced him. I hope like getting picked off, but got a chariot going for it. So the chariots with 140 resources, whereas the tox worth 90 and the hoplites are worth, I think, 80? 90 as well. In which? Uh, a couple of units just getting picked off there. Although we'll Count push forward one. I don't know if he needed to there, he's going to lose a couple of chariots. Pretty much for free. Garrisoning there. I count. Nice control. So the hops focusing down the MIG. These chariots. Might have just go to town on the army, but there's enough hoplites here. This could be. And enough Toxodes. It could be very difficult for these chariots to sustain this. You're then getting picked off now. Bit of a push here. Okay, it's actually brought some villagers up. 
for some reason. Gearing. Might be thinking about going for... Yeah, forward siege works. He wants to try and go for the kill here. Odohan's trying to do the same, deny. Count the ability to stabilize on these gold mines before he can get to his caravan eco, but he is starting to work there while Badawan way off it, and Badawan, GG, Count takes the game.